all right everyone great to have you on this scholarship course so as we go ahead we're going to be talking about the morphology of the fin type look at this little diagram in front of you just showing the little morphology of the fin type being labeled we have the first one is the dorsal the first dorsal fin you know, I, I told you that if you are new to aquaculture, you have to be able to follow through to the end because this is going to expose you to the terminologies you need to know. Now, looking at a typical fish, when you take out a typical fish, a typical live fish now, and you place it beside this fish in this diagram, you are going to compare it and be able to know this is what we are talking about so the first thing you see at the dorsal area of the fish the dorsal um the dorsal line the dorsal that's the top layer of the fish is called the first dorsal fin especially when the fish is having two dorsal fin we have the first dorsal and we have the second dorsal fin so if there is an extension of the dorsal fin showing after the first and the second it is called the adipose fin so moving ahead you are going to see that from the adipose fin the next one is the caudal fin which is also called the tail fin and we have the three other fins on this diagram which are the pectoral the one close to the operculum we have the pelvic the one below the operculum and we have the anal fin the one close to the anus of the fish so the pectoral fins may be horizontal and down low pectoral fin just like in salmon trout shark or sturgeon and used mainly for gliding so that's a function these are often used for swimming, holding positions, and changing directions quickly. You can see it has the functions of the, the pectoral fins. Help them to swim, help them to hold their position, help them to change their directions very quickly. So, we have the pelvic fin, the one below the operculum along the ventral side. They are, they are mostly called the abdominal fin that is the attached midway down the belly so when the pelvic fin are below the pectoral fins such can be seen in the diagram just here and um, you know they are termed thoracic when a thoracic pelvic fin is attached under the gills it may also be called the jugular and if under the shin it's called the eye on the mental pelvic fin moving on let's talk about the caudal fin before we move on to the next slide we have the two type of the caudal fin or let me say the tail fin we have the homosacral and the heterosacral the homosacral is a very modern development of the tail it is symmetrical and example are this kind of tail is the truncate, it includes the truncate, the forked type of tail. You have the deeply forked types. Don't worry, this type of tails, are going to be talking about them in the following slides in this week. So, you know, it is by far the most common caudal fin shape shared by most fishes, the homosacral so most of the fish you are going to be seeing in the diagram i'm going to be showing you are going to be having the homosacral tail type because it is the modern development type of tail you see all around at every time when you get a fish so the heterosacral is an ancient form of the tail fish is an ancient form possessed by only few primitive fishes like the sharks the paddle fish so it was a necessary tail shape when fishes had no swim bladder and we are heavy in the front so if you have a question as you are listening to this course as you are reading through to this course 
drop your question in the slack channel some of you may have a question on what a swim bladder is drop it in the slack channel let's have it as an interactive session together so if the fish tried to use um, a kind of symmetrical tail it would have spun toward the bottom instead it's developed a tail with a deliberately downward driving design and let's check the rest in the next slide 